In his 1975 work, Archaeological Reconnaissance of the Lower Tinkers Creek Region, David Brose of the Cleveland Museum of Natural History, identified an early archaic campsite dating to between 6000 and 4000 BC, near the intersection of Canal, Sagamore and Valley View Road in Valley View, Ohio. This site is only one, of 56 Native American archaeological sites in the immediate area. On the northern edge of the Cuyahoga Valley National Park, this area is accessible from the Alexander Road trailhead at Sagamore Creek, in the Bedford Reservation of the Cleveland Metroparks. This early archaic campsite lies almost exactly 500 feet southeast of the Frazee House. This historic building is one of the two oldest homes built in the Cuyahoga Valley by early settlers. But hike the 3.2 kilometers, or 2 miles west from the trailhead at Alexander Road, and you'll see how the Park Service, preserves, ancient Native American sites. If you go to an archaeological lecture, speak with someone at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History, or visit the National Parks website, they will tell you that many of the Native American sites in the Cuyahoga Valley are not made publicly known, in an effort to, quote, preserve them. Implying that if the public was aware of them, the public would loot them. While I'm not aware if Park Area 6 has been looted, strewn across the dry creek bed at this site are hundreds of broken beer bottles, as well as the waste from, what appears to be, a very large clam bake. A party in which the participants smashed their glass beer bottles on, or near, an early archaic Native American site dating from between 6000 and 4000 BC seems an odd method of preservation. Unfortunately along this nearly four-mile hike, you will see a lot more rubbish dumping. Including tires, a cement mixer, and all types of abandoned industrial and household waste. So if the parks aren't actually interested in the preservation of these sites, what's their real motive for not disclosing them to the public? Thanks to the publicly available Ohio Geographically Referenced Information Program, one can download LADAR data from Ohio. Running it through QGIS, creates beautiful landscape maps with trees and vegetation stripped away. About 1,000 feet past the area of the archaic campsite, we stumbled upon what looked like a dozen small mounds of earth. Downloading and processing the data showed that this was much more than just a few mounds of earth, but something on a much grander scale. Their proximity to a known early archaic site along the river also provides context. Continued examination of LIDAR maps of Sagamore Creek show strange and massive earthworks in remote places. Officials undoubtedly will come up with all kinds of strained explanations for these massive earthworks all over the Cuyahoga Valley. Usually citing lack of evidence, as evidence. However if you're skeptical of those in positions of power, use critical thinking, and follow the money, you begin to question their motives. Motives to keep things hidden in Ohio.